Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this cute little mitten gift card holder. This is so adorable. You can have this as a stocking stuffer or put it on top of a gift um, that's already wrapped just to adorn the top of your gift. It's so cute. It's a cute little mitten. And you can stick a gift card in there, wrap it with a bow, and you have a nice little gift. And I'm going to actually do a bunch of these for Christmas <laughs> this year. <laughs> So, people love gift cards, so uh, I'll get into the supplies we need and then we'll get into making this. So, big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn. I love this Amore yarn. This is so soft and buttery and it's so lovely. So, this is the main color of our piece and I'm not going to pronounce this name. I always forget how to pronounce this. It looks like Ruibos. Ruibos. So... Tell me I'm wrong, tell me I'm right, I don't know, but it's red. <laughs> and we're going to use Huga Charm just for the last two rounds of this piece just to give it a little accent. And I love this Huga Charm because A, it is also soft, but B, it has sparkles in it. I just love it so much. And um, you're going to need a G-sized hook today. This is 4.25 millimeters. This fancy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. Look at the curves on this baby. It is hand carved ergonomic. It fits in the palm of your hand. It's just really easy to use when you crochet for a long period of time like me. I'm always crocheting so it's lovely. So we're gonna use a G hook today. You're also going to need a scissors and a yarn needle just to cut your yarn and sew in some ends. So it's a super simple project. So I'm going to set this one aside and we're going to grab yarn here. And we're going to make, I'm going to make another one because I have a lot of gift cards this season. <laughs> so we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to grab my, this red Amore yarn. And we are going to make a slip knot, so put your short end over your long end, fold this down, and pull this through, and pull tight. Okay, and we're going to chain two. Oh, no, we're going to chain 30. I'm sorry. We're going to start, so on this mitten, what I ended up doing was starting here and working my way up here, and we decrease at the top. So that's what we're going to end up doing. I was like, chain two? Wait a minute, the pattern says to chain 30. <laughs> so... We're going to yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two. I won't make you watch me chain 30, so just chain 30 and I'll come right back. Once you have chained 30, this is what your piece should look like. Now, I want to mention we are going to work in rounds and we're going to work in continuous rounds and... I'm working in the back loops, but you don't have to. So I'll show you that right now. What we're going to do is take this chain without twisting it, bring the first chain to your hook, and go into the first chain. And I personally like to work in the back ridges, but you can work in any loop of the chain. And we're going to yarn over, pull it through the chain, and we're going to single crochet into this first chain here. So yarn over and pull through two loops. So we just single crocheted into that chain. Now we're going to single crochet into each chain around. So just go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to do that all the way around and then I'll tell you, when I come back to the beginning here, I'll show you what I meant by working in continuous rounds and working in the back loop. I'll show you that next. Alright, so I came all the way back around, so like I said, we're going to work in continuous rounds, so we're not slip stitching to the beginning, and I'm going to work in the back loops only. So this is the back loop of the stitches, the one that's furthest away from you. So the loop that's in front here is called the front loop, and the loop back here is called the back loop, obviously. We usually go through both loops, which you can, you can definitely work through both loops in this project, but I'm going to work in the back loops, and for rounds 2 through 7, we are just going to single crochet. Now if you want to, you can put a stitch marker right here to mark your rounds, but I can see here that my um, straggler, my slip knot, is right there. So I'm just going to use that as a guide as my first stitch. And you just want to single crochet all the way around for rounds 2 through 7, so it'll get you the height. And then for round 8, we'll come back and I'll show you how to make the thumb hole. Alright, so I just finished round 7 here, working in those back loops, you can see the lines that it creates, it looks really cool. So round um, 8 here, we are going to chain 3, 1, 
two and three and we're gonna skip three stitches one two three and I'm gonna continue working in the back loops here and I'm going to single crochet into the rest of the stitches around and chaining three and skipping those three chains just creates that thumb hole where we'll make uh, the thumb later on in this project oh my goodness my cat is back <laughs> did you hear the bell she's in here so I'm just going to crochet, I'm just going to single crochet all the way around and get my cat out of my craft room and um, I'll meet you up for round nine. <laughs> you ladies need to scat, scat out of here. Come on. Alright, for round nine, we are going to single crochet in each one of these chains. So I'm just going to go into this first chain, single crochet next chain single crochet and the next chain single crochet just like that and then we're just going to continue single crocheting into each stitch around and that's round nine super simple and you can see here that the thumb hole is now in the past <laughs> so i'm going to do that for round nine and then for rounds 10 11 and 12 just repeat, you know, what we did for rounds two through seven. Just single crochet into rounds. So this is round nine I'm working on right now. Single crochet around. Then round 10, 11, and 12. The next three rounds, you'll also just single crochet around. Then when we get to round 13, we are going to start decreasing the top of the mitten. So I'll come back after round 12 and I'll show you how to decrease for round 13. Alright, so I just finished round um, 12 here, right? Round 12 or 13, whichever. You can make it as long as you want. <laughs> so we're going on to round 13 now. Uh, we are going to decrease. So what we're going to do, if you need to, you can put a stitch marker or another piece of yarn. Actually, you know what I'm going to because this part we're going to be decreasing. So you want to uh, mark our rounds but you don't have to if you don't want to. So what we're going to do is single crochet two together. So go into this first stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's a single crochet decrease or a single crochet two together stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So here's one, two, three. And then we're going to repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together. And then single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And repeat. Single crochet two together and single crochet in the next three. And at the end of this round you'll only have 24 stitches. I'll come back and we'll go on to round 14 for another decrease. Alright, just finished round 13. Now we're going on to round 14. <laughs> we are going to move our stitch marker up and we're going to decrease again. So let's single crochet two together, just like I showed you in the last round. And then we're going to actually single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and one. And then repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. And then just do that all the way around. So at the end of round 14 you'll have 18 stitches. I'll come back and I'll show you how to decrease again for round um, 15. <laughs> Alright, for round 15, I'm going to move my stitch marker up. We're going to decrease again. So you can see the top is getting closed now. So we're going to single crochet two together. This yarn is so soft. I love working with it. Single crochet these two together and then single crochet into the next stitch. And just repeat that sequence all the way around. So single crochet two together and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and do that all the way around. You'll have 12 stitches at the end of this round and then I'll come back and we'll go on to round 16. Alright, for the next round, round 16, we are going to move our stitch marker up and we're going to single crochet two together six times because there's only 12 stitches around and we are going to make them into six. 
So let's single crochet these two together. So there's one. Here's two. Here's three. Four. my stitch markers in my way here we go here's five and six all right now I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and what we're going to do is single crochet the first stitch and the fourth stitch just like this okay together so yarn over pull through both of those stitches yarn over pull through two and then chain one and cut this yarn and then pull that through and pull tight okay we're gonna grab our yarn needle and sew in that end real quick and then we'll be able to make the thumb in just a second here so you can go into the inside of this piece you can pull it in and then sew it around in the inside and that's hidden okay so now what we're gonna do is um, grab some of the red yarn still okay and we're going to attach it to one of the stitches around this thumb hole so I'm just gonna start right here in this stitch and actually I'm gonna work in the back loop so go into the stitch right here grab on some yarn hook it on and pull it through chain one to kind of attach it if you would there we go and this is gonna be kind of tricky um, but what you can do I'm gonna kind of have my hand inside so we're gonna go into the same stitch okay and I'm gonna work around my straggler I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through and then yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook and there's a single crochet we're just gonna single crochet around and there should be eight stitches so there's three down here one here three up here and one here so I'm gonna try to show you without getting anything in the way this yarn is so soft okay so go into this next stitch right here single crochet there's two next stitch is three now the side right here just fit wherever your hook fits right in here is good yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two then on the opposite side of this chain here single crochet in these next three okay and then single crochet on this side preferably like right there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay now you can work in continuous rounds or you can slip stitch to the beginning here. I'm going to work in those continuous rounds. So I'm just going to go right into this back loop of this first stitch right here and just single crochet. Okay, and then just single crochet for rounds two through four. Okay, so once I finish, let me see here. Actually, no, 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 rounds two and three. I'm sorry. Round four is when we are going to close the thumb. So I'll come back after I finish round three and I'll show you how to close the thumb for round four. Alright, so I just finished round two and three here. So we're going to single crochet two together four times around. So just like how we did our last round on our top of our mitten, we're going to do the same thing for the thumb part here. So there's one move this around getting these next two together okay and then move to the next two this will be our third one and our fourth one is right here and it's gonna be, get really tight so make sure um, you know you can take your time and just kind of search for your stitches there we go and there we go okay yarn over pull through all three loops and now we're just going to go into two of the stitches just like this how we did the last round yarn over pull through and through 
and then chain one to fasten off we're going to cut our yarn pull it all the way through that chain one pull tight grab our yarn needle and go into our piece okay now I know some of you might have a concern that there is a hole and I'll show you where it is right here do, 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 where my fingers poking out there might be a hole or two around your piece what you can do is uh, turn this inside out okay where that hole would be you can take one of your stragglers and sew it closed okay so I'm going to take one of these stragglers from the inside here I have to sew in anyways and we're just going to go around a couple of the stitches just like that and that closes it up and we can tie it in a knot and then just sew in the end underneath some of these stitches and you can trim it short perfect okay so then flip it outside and you can see that it is eliminated the hole lovely now what I want to do is just one more thing and make a cuff around the bottom here so I'm gonna grab some Huga charm in the starlight color and we can start in any stitch around we're flipping this around and we're gonna work on the foundation chain here so I'm just gonna start in the stitch right here and we are going to hook on the Huga charm and we're gonna chain one and single crochet into that same stitch okay and just single crochet into each stitch around now I know it's going to be kind of difficult to see so just take your time and look for the stitches at the base of round one it's working on the opposite side of the foundation chain so I know it's going to be a little tougher but you can see we're just single crocheting and I'm gonna do that for this round and the next round I'm just gonna single crochet around and I'm gonna work in those continuous rounds like I've been showing you so you don't even have to slip stitch to the beginning if you don't want to otherwise if you wanted to you could slip stitch to the beginning stitch and then chain one and single crochet around for round two and then slip stitch to the beginning stitch again to fasten off on round two but I'm just gonna do these two rounds and then I'll come back We'll fasten off and be done with our mitten. Alright, when you finish two rounds of that, you can see round one and two here. I just worked in continuous rounds. You can slip stitch to the next stitch and fasten off. So chain one, cut this yarn, pull it through, pull tight, grab your yarn needle, and yarn your needle, and then go into the inside and sew in your ends and just make sure to weave in the rest of your ends as well just underneath some of these stitches like this and then cut any extra you might have stretch it out to make sure it's all hidden and there it is oh my gosh how cute is that and then you can grab your uh, your gift card here wrap a bow around it and stick it inside and then you can attach this to the top of a gift or stick it in somebody's stocking. How fabulous. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this fun little gift card holder for the holidays. Give these as gifts to everyone on your list. This is such a great idea. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. Link to this written pattern. Link to uh, the Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Follow me on social media. And until next time, happy hooking!